Hello lovelies, I'm going to be showing you how to change the sound of your drum. Minding the chickens. So you can kind of hear that this one has kind of a teeny pitch with it, if you can hear it around the chickens talking. So I'm going to start out by placing some water on the inside and water on the outside and letting it soak for a couple hours. So here I've got my drum and I've got just a bin filled with water. I'm going to scoop the water in enough that it covers the whole surface of the drum. I don't want a lot of water because I don't want it to sink down into the water. I just want this drum head to get wet. I'm gonna let it float on the surface. Now, if it sinks, then you've added too much water and you're not gonna get the stretch. We wanna keep the top lacings very, very dry. And the reason for that is because we're gonna use that to stretch out the hide after it has a chance to soak and get nice and moist. You're gonna to wanna to leave it in the water for about 20 minutes until it starts to get soft and pliable. Uh, for thicker hides, you might have to put it in longer. But see, we've been waiting about 10 to 20 minutes and see how soft this is. That's exactly what you want right there. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to hang it holding this side and putting some pressure on this side so that this can dry a little bit more loosely so it can allow more space for the sound to travel through. Okay, so now that I've let this soak for long enough to make this center part pliable and flexible, I've hung some bungee cords onto a clothesline. You can use hangers if you need to, or you can even use the rod in your closet or shower. Um, that bath shower rod to hang it as well. The key is to just leave it alone for a few days. So somewhere where it's not going to be disturbed. And if you're using bungee cords, make sure they're the same size or at least having the same tension on them. So these ones, you can kind of see, I've maneuvered them a little bit so that the tension is about the same because we're gonna be putting some weight inside here and that's going to pull it down. Okay, so now that we've got it hung and in a safe space, we're gonna add a little bit of weight. All right, so my favorite thing to add is selenite because not only is it high vibrational cleansing but it also is easy to get in little small pieces so you can add the weight gradually so if you have some flat stones we don't want to do anything that's got sharp edges that can puncture the loose rawhide so make sure you get something that's flat on the bottom and smooth and you're just going to slide the weight in and what this is going to do is it's going to push the hide back out so you have more space for air and I'm adding just a few more, balancing them out. <laughs> and just make sure that it's nice and level before you walk away. Um, and then the next step is as you watch it over the next few days, you can reposition all of the little selenite crystals or whatever you use for your weight. Just don't add too much weight because we don't want to stretch it too fast, otherwise it could tear. So instead we want to just do a subtle gradual ease, kind of encouraging the hide to expand out a little bit before it completely dries. And by doing that, you can keep it from having spots that are overstretched and changes the color. Uh, I did have one where it expanded so much that it created a crescent moon look. So if you like that look, great. Um, but try that. And if you still don't like the sound after that, I would suggest either adding more water and trying it one more time or a little bit more weight, or you can always re-soak it and retie the whole thing, but that is a lot longer process. Uh, if you do need to re-soak your drum and retie it, you're gonna soak it for about two days because you need to get all these little knots out and untie it carefully, then let it soak for a minute. Um, and by a minute, I mean a few hours to just rehydrate all of the angles and then you'll go ahead and tie it again. And you'll want to wait about three to five days after you tie it until it's fully dry. All right. And so now that it's been long enough that this feels dry underneath, we're just going to take off all of our bungees. And we're going to remove the crystals inside. What do we have? So we've stretched the space right here and you can see just slightly on the edges, the stretch spots. Make sure you put some coconut oil on it.
If you decide you want more of a storage, you can soak it again and you can soak it a little bit longer and put a little bit extra weight here. But it's a very gradual process, so be careful that you don't over soak it because the water will absorb and wet your entire drum. And also make sure you don't get it too heavy because you don't want it to puncture through. Remember, it's lots of layers.